All right, thank you. On our news yesterday morning, a threatening email was sent internally to employees at the State Education Department. Allegedly sending out multiple versions at that, trying to stop whistleblowers from releasing information. The email News 4 was sent says it's a final warning, and any employee leaking information to the press will face immediate termination. Well, as you're aware by now, that threat didn't stop that email from making its way to our inbox. News 4's Kaylee Olivas has more. Now, that place has more snitches in it than a federal prison. He says without whistleblowers, Oklahomans would be in the dark. News 4 currently has three open records requests filed with the State Department of Education. We've been waiting nearly two months on one, with hardly any updates on when it'll be fulfilled. One of the fundamental principles of a democratic government is transparency, that people know what you are doing. But on Thursday morning, OSDE pushed out this email, trying to put a stop to the leak of internal documents. Quote, this will stop. So let this serve as its final warning for anyone that has a disagreement on Superintendent Walters' beliefs to fight the liberal woke culture seeping into our schools. There were at least three different versions of this email with very minor differences, which a spokesperson has publicly pointed out on social media the purpose of that was to entrap the employee who leaked it. This tells me that he knows what he's doing is not consistent with what the public desires and yet he wants to, and so he wants to keep it a secret. Oklahoma City Attorney Mark Hammond says this is a clear violation of several laws, including the First Amendment and the State Whistleblower Act. I think what he's doing is opening himself up for a lawsuit. That's honestly crazy. It's a betrayal. It's a betrayal by the state Department of Education, the state superintendent of public instruction. It's a betrayal by him against the educators in Oklahoma who just want to obey the law. Several are now asking State Superintendent Ryan Walters say goodbye to this office. So what I'd like to see is I'd like to see him step down. And if that means starting impeachment proceedings so that we can get somebody in this office that is serious about taking care of our children, all children, then maybe that's what we need to do. We asked if Superintendent Walters would speak to media after Thursday's Board of Education meeting. He normally does, but we were told he was too busy for us. But not the two print reporters escorted to a private room where Superintendent Walters spoke with them one-on-one. -on -one. It feels very, very scary and very threatening to have somebody like that in charge of public schools in Oklahoma. Although Superintendent Walters was, quote, too busy for an on-camera interview, a spokesperson of his thanked the media for, quote, outing woke saboteurs. And we want to assure you that we did not reveal our source when it comes to that email. Kelly Olivas reporting right there.